Let's head to Christchurch where there was heckling and hollering at the city's largest polytechnic today as a former rebuild minister, Jerry Brownlee, showed up for what's believed to be his only political debate of this election campaign. The National MP, who was filling in for Christchurch Central candidate Nicky Wagner, faced off against former lawyer and Labour candidate for Christchurch Central, Duncan Webb, as well as candidates from the Green and Opportunities parties. Our reporter, Logan Church, was there. Hundreds of Cantabrians crowded into the ARA Institute to eyeball the city's political candidates. One of the hottest topics was insurance on properties damaged in the Christchurch and Kaikoura earthquakes. Many in the audience asked Jerry Brownlee, the minister responsible for the Earthquake Commission, why insurance payouts have taken so long to settle. Among them, Christchurch resident Jerry Larson. I'd like to know uh, which, if any of the parties, are prepared to make a real uh, attempt at putting in performance laws requiring insurance companies to pay up in a timely manner. Labor's Duncan Webb said Christchurch homeowners have been badly let down by both the government and insurance companies. The behaviour of insurance companies in Christchurch after the earthquakes has been absolutely woeful. Um, the Labor Party is committed to breaking the deadlock and it has said it will set up a tribunal that can give damages for undue delays. I want to go further. If I get into Parliament, I'll be advocating for a two-year limit on settlement of claims and penalties thereafter. But Mr Brownlee said people needed to read their insurance contracts after the earthquake. Uh, remember that all insurance is in fact a contract between the two parties and that uh, one lesson I think that has come out of the Christchurch earthquakes and certainly has for me personally is it's a good idea to read your insurance contracts. We found across we found, look, well, you find this amusing, it's a fact. I do not support a new arrangement that would break contract law in this country. It would be a disaster, not only for here, but for through, uh, through the whole country. Thanks very much, Jerry. The government's approach to housing also came under fire, with one audience member challenging Mr Brownlee on the use of the word crisis. Could he comment, is the word crisis an appropriate word to use for when we're talking about poverty, inequality and housing. I don't agree with you that we've got a crisis in housing, for example. <laughs> I don't know, I knew everyone would react that way, but let me put it to you this way. Let me put it to you this way. Where is the one place in New Zealand where housing prices are static and where rents are falling? It's right here in Christchurch. The reason that's not happening across the rest of the country is because those local authorities will not use the tools that they've got that they've been given by central government to make that happen. And I've got people here saying rubbish. Well, it's not rubbish, it's plain fact. But Duncan Webb told the crowd that something had to be done fast. I cannot believe that there's a suggestion there's no housing problem in Christchurch. When it was snowing in Christchurch, there was a guy sleeping in a doorway in New Regent Street. No country in the world should be proud of that. That We are rich enough to look after those people. There is a problem in Christchurch. I bought a house that was worth about four times my income when I was a young lawyer. On the same adjusted income today, it would be 12 times my income. That is a crisis. Mr Brownlee also faced questions about his lack of attendance at a previous debate in his own electorate. Last week on Wednesday there was a meeting just like this for the ILM electorate. Doug was there even though Top doesn't have a candidate running for our electorate. You weren't and you didn't send a representative. Why not? Uh, well look, I, firstly if you want my candid view, if you look at uh, this audience today and you looked at the applause that was given at the start for various candidates come here, it's pretty clear that what candidates do at those uh, meetings is bring along their own supporters to make sure that they, are, they, are, uh, they get a good hearing. So, so what I yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm agreeing with you. I'm totally agreeing with you, right? At the end of the day, it was handshakes all around. But the battle lines have been drawn in Christchurch Central. And Nationals' Nikki Wagner has three and a half weeks before voters get to decide if she'll hang on to the seat. In Christchurch for Checkpoint, Logan Church.